SCP-096 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-096 is to be contained in its cell. A 5 by 5 by 5 meter airtight steel cube at all times. Weekly checks for any cracks or holes are mandatory. There are to be absolutely no video surveillance or optical tools of any kind inside SCP-096's cell. Security personnel will use pre-installed pressure sensors and laser detectors to ensure SCP-096's presence inside the cell. Any and all photos, video, or recordings of SCP-096's likeness are strictly forbidden without approval from Dr. And O5 Description SCP 096 is a humanoid creature measuring approximately 2.38 meters in height. Subject shows very little muscle mass, with preliminary analysis of body mass suggesting mild malnutrition. Arms are grossly out of proportion with the rest of the subject's body, with an approximate length of 1.5 meters each. Skin is mostly devoid of pigmentation, with no sign of body hair. SCP-096's jaw can open up to four times the norm of an average human. Other facial features remain similar to an average human, with the exception of the eyes, which are also devoid of pigmentation. It is not yet known whether SCP-096 is blind or not. It shows no signs of any higher brain functions, and is not considered to be sapient. SCP-096 is normally extremely docile, with pressure sensors inside its cell indicating it spends most of the day pacing by the eastern wall. However, when someone views SCP-096's face, whether it be directly, via video recording, or even a photograph, it will enter a stage of considerable emotional distress. SCP-096 will cover its face with its hands and begin screaming, crying, <laughs> babbling incoherently. Normally one to two minutes after the first view, SCP-096 will begin running to the person who viewed its face, who will from this point on be referred to as SCP-096-1. Documented speeds have varied from 35 kilometers an hour to kilometers an hour, and seems to depend on the distance from SCP-096-1. At this point, no known material or method can impede SCP-096's progress. The actual position of SCP-096-1 does not seem to affect SCP-096's response. It just seems to have an innate sense of SCP-096-1's location. Note, this reaction does not occur when viewing artistic depictions. Upon arriving at SCP-096-1's location, SCP-096 will proceed to kill and SCP-096-1. 100% of cases have left no traces of SCP-096-1. SCP-096 will then sit down for several minutes before regaining its composure and becoming docile once again. It will then attempt to make its way back to its natural habitat. Due to the possibility of a mass chain reaction, including breach of Foundation secrecy, and a large civilian loss of life. Retrieval of subject should be considered alpha priority. Dr. has also petitioned for immediate termination of SCP-096. Termination order has been approved and is to be carried out by Dr. on 